Well hello boys and girls, it's really good to be able to just chat with you. I want to tell you a story. I didn't make it up. The Lord Jesus told it a long time ago. But it was all about a little animal. It was about so long and so high and it had a head here and a tail there and four little legs. And can you guess what it was? It was very small and he used to run around in the fields going ba ba That's right, it was a little baby lamb. Oh, and it was enjoying The sun was shining and it was having a wonderful time. But then, guess what? One day a naughty boy and a naughty girl went through the field and they forgot to do something. Hmm, that's right, they forgot to close the gate. And this little lamb was running in and out. And, well, it was doing something that little lambs can do, but grown-ups are not supposed to do. Gamble. You'll have to ask your mum or your dad about that later on. But anyway, it was running in and out, having a wonderful time, when suddenly it noticed that the gate was slightly open. And it thought, ooh, I wonder what's through the gate. So he poked his little head in, in between the gate and the post and wriggled his body and he went down the lane. And then he came to lots and lots of big trees that had acorns on them. Do you know what sort of trees have acorns on them? oak trees, that's right, and went through the oak trees and then he came to two pieces of wood. One was like this and one was like that and grown-ups climb over it and <laughs> little lambs go under it. He got, got its bottom a little bit stuck but he managed it and then it went through some more trees and it was having a wonderful time until it heard a sound that all little lambs dread. Yes, it was the sound of a wolf. A hungry, horrible wolf going, ow, 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 and he thought, oh, quickly, I must run back. But he tried to remember and he just couldn't remember the way back and suddenly he found himself lost and the wolf, maybe wolves, were getting nearer and louder and making even more noise. Ow, 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 ow. And, and quickly the oh dear, I don't know the way back home. What should I do? And it saw a hole and it dived into the hole and hid. Meanwhile, back at the farm was Farmer Brown and he just finished his, his lovely dinner. Now, I don't know what food you like. I love cheese on toast with marmite. But anyway, just finished his lovely meal and he thought, well, I need to go and count the sheep. So he went and got two pieces of wood. One went up like this and had a great big blob of wood on the, the end of it. That was for beating away horrible, wicked, hungry wolves. And the other one came up like this and was round. And we called it a shepherd's crook or a staff. That's for rescuing lost little lambs. Well, Farmer Brown went into the field and he started to count the sheep. You can help if you want. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, and there's a little lame one, 96, and there are the twins, 97, 98, and there's a little black one, 99. Where's the other one? He cleaned his glasses, had a go I must have counted wrongly, he said. So I better count all over again. So he tried again. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, oh, and there are the twins, 97, and the little black one, 98 and the lame one 99 there's one missing and then suddenly farmer brown saw that the gate was slightly open quick as a flash he went down to the gate down the lane through all the oak trees do you think he went under the stile no no no, no. he climbed over the stile and then he came to the trees and he started to shout out lamb Lamb! But as he was shouting out for the lamb, the wolves were near the little lamb going, Ow, 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 The little lamb, he was so scared, he was hiding in the hole and he, he, he clambered up and put his nose just on the edge of the, of the hole and he looked and he saw the shepherd. Oh, yes, he thought. And he was just about to shout out for the shepherd when he saw the shepherd had that knobbly piece with a great big blob of wood on the end and he thought, oh no, if I, if I call out now for the shepherd, he'll beat me all the way home. Now, do you think he would have beaten him home? <laughs> no, of course not. Just a minute, just wait a minute. If you've got a grown-up there 
can I just have a little word with him or her? Because grown-ups, I've met some adults, and perhaps you know some too, who said to me, huh, if I was to trust the Lord Jesus, he would, he'd take all the joy out of my life. He'd beat me all the way home. Now, that is not true. But anyway, back to the boys and girls. So, so the, the little lamb is so frightened, he hid again. But the, the shepherd kept on calling, Lamb! 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 And the wolves were getting nearer and louder and hungrier. Ow, 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 ow. The little lamb clambered up again, put his nose just on the edge, and he thought, I must hurry up and call out or I'll be in real trouble. So he was very nervous and frightened, but... Bah! Well, as soon as he did, guess what? Farmer Brown the shepherd came and he got that thing, the, the staff or the crook, and he put it down and put it round the middle of the little lamb and he picked him up. He was about to put him on his shoulder when suddenly one of the horrid, hungry wolves dived at the lamb. Do you think he got him? No, he didn't. Because the, 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 the shepherd... Mr. Brown got the thing with the blob of the wood and went boing! And uh, the, the horrid wolf, all he saw was stars and he got a headache. And all he had for supper was cold fish and chips, which wasn't quite as good as what he'd been looking forward to. Now the shepherd had the little lamb and he put him, put him on his shoulders and he carried him safely home. But before he got home, the little lamb fell asleep. I don't know whether you've ever heard a lamb asleep. Well, not quite like that. It was more like... He fell fast asleep, but when he got him home, the shepherd took him from his shoulders and put him down on some straw. And there he lived happily ever after. But... Just before you go away, you know, the Lord Jesus told that story. It's found in Luke's Gospel, chapter 15. You can look it up yourself if you want, in verses 1 to 3. And when he was talking about the Good Shepherd, he was really talking about God. And when he was talking about the lost lamb, hmm, he was talking about you and me. It's not that we don't know how to get back to mum or dad, but we've got lost from God. Do you know how you spell lost? Well, here's a way to remember, because the little lamb went down the lane, that begins with a L, and then through the oak trees, that's an O, an O, and then he came to the stile, that's a S, L, O, S, and then he came to some more trees, T, L, O, S, T, lost. Because we've done wrong, because we've gone away from God, because of that we're lost from him. And the wicked wolf's like Satan, the devil. He wants to gobble us up. But the good shepherd calls out for us. And he wants us to say to him, we're lost now. The little lamb did so by saying, bah. we don't talk like that, do we? But we can come to God and say, dear God, dear Lord Jesus, I'm lost from you because I've gone away from you. Please find me and forgive me. And take me safely into your care, into your arms. And one day take me home. Just another little thing. You know the little lamb was taken home. One day, if we've trusted the Lord Jesus, we'll go home to heaven. We'll die and go to be with God forever in heaven. But if we're safe in the shepherd's arms, we needn't worry about dying. Because he will take us home to be with himself. Do you know, the Lord Jesus said in John's Gospel, chapter 10, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. So the Lord Jesus Christ loved you and me so much that he gave his life for us. And he wants us to call out to him and trust him and then be in his care forever.